A local Holocaust survivor who reunited with a friend he hadn't seen since 1938 is now the subject of a documentary. We first brought you this incredible story back in 2018, and our Don Timoney continues it tonight. This knock at the door, eight decades in the making. How are you? How are you? It's been, it's been a little while. Well, only eight years of it. Who counts, who counts the years? Fred Barron of Voorhees reunited with Henry Baum, his childhood friend, whom he last saw at 12 years old as the Nazis bombed their synagogue and school in what was known as Crystal Nacht, Night of Broken Glass. I was very emotional. I had tears in my eyes, and so did he. Larry Hanover wrote a book with Fred Barron about his life and produced and directed the documentary. He was there for the miracle of these two men reuniting in Florida, where they both ironically had homes 15 minutes apart. It, it was incredible. The only way I can describe it is they were 12 years old when they last saw each other and they, the years melted away. It was like they were 12 years old again when they hugged each other at the door. These two not even knowing if the other had survived the horrors of the Holocaust. Okay, I got lots of questions. Family and friends attending the premiere of the documentary on the 95-year-old at Congregation Bethel. Both Fred and his daughter say it's a story that needs to be told. I'm the mother of a 12-year-old and I'm second generation of the survivors. It's a very important legacy for him to leave. The whole idea of the documentary, that what, what I and many millions of others went through should not be forgotten. Nor should moments like this amazing reunion. There's so many wonderful things that happen in, in this world, and we want people to have those you know, optimistic stories out there. Believe it or not, Fred and Henry actually have homes in Florida just 15 minutes apart and never knew all these years. Fred says he has plenty more stories to tell. He says he's actually planning on writing his second book at 95. In Voorhees, New Jersey, Dawn Timoney, Fox 29 News.